In this video, we're going to be having a look at uh, Boom. Uh, let me just open it up from the insert slot. Boom is one of the instruments that uh, comes with Pro Tools. Uh, it's a combination of uh, drum synth and step sequencer. Uh, actually, while I've got this window open, let me show you one of Pro Tools' rather uh, neater shortcuts. Uh, it's quite common when MIDI sequencing to need to show and hide the uh, instrument page quite often. Um, now, if you have to do this every time by either clicking here or using the insert slot, this can get a little bit irritating. Um, what I can do instead is hold the Control, Option and Command keys together and press W and that has the effect of closing all the floating windows. Uh, the great thing about this command, however, is that uh, if I repeat the shortcut, it will reopen them. Uh, this can work for a whole set of plugin windows in one go. So if I quickly bring in a transport page and let's uh, have a session setup page, I can close all of these in one go and bring them back in the same manner. Bear in mind that this is a sort of one-off memory situation. Uh, if I was to now reopen Boom manually, uh, now the shortcut will just hide Boom and bring it back again. The uh, screen set, if you like, of the uh, transport and session setup windows with Boom, that's been lost. Now there are other ways to do uh, screen setups, but we'll be looking at those in the advanced videos. Now the two halves of uh, Boom are pretty much here. This is our step sequencer section. And over here we have the uh, synth section. I have 10 different synths, or synth sounds, and I have sections of kits. So I could change from here, for example, to Dance 2. And I can play these uh, using either the buttons or the uh, MIDI keyboard. Uh, this is a C1. And here's my uh, D1. Bear in mind that the keyboard layout doesn't follow the order of the uh, plugins you can see here. Uh, for example, if I play C sharp one, I actually get the rim shot. Um, they're laid out on the synth in an order that makes sense when sequencing, but in terms of the uh, MIDI trigger notes, it's based on the uh, general MIDI layout. So as you'd expect, you're going to find your hats, for example, on F sharp, G sharp and A sharp. It's also possible to change uh, my drum kit on an individual basis. If I don't like this kick, but I do like this snare, it's possible to change this. Let's go for uh, Urban One. Notice that I only have uh, 10 different drum sounds available from here. This is the kick from each of the drum kits. Uh, let me show you one of the Pro Tools more uh, hidden features. Uh, if you click here on the right hand outside bracket of the Boom logo, uh, you're going to see the step sequence section here uh, flash up the word Boom. Once that has happened, now under each instrument I can access all of the drums. A bit of an odd one. Um, you can see I've now got everything also under the snare. Uh, if I repeat the process, it'll say boom again. Let's get this right. And now it should return to uh, just the kick drum sounds under the kick drum channel. Now my drum sound itself uh, has uh, some basic parameters. Level, uh, tune. Let's have a listen to this.
and I can tweak the decay of the envelope. Mute and solo are fairly obvious. Um, this, however, is a little bit trickier. This is the, uh, the drum adjuster. Uh, it looks like a screw, and most people have never realized it's actually one of the more powerful uh, parameters for all of these synths. Um, if you have a listen to what happens when I click and drag. You can hear on this particular channel, it's given me a sort of slight distortion effect. Now this is not the same for every single one. Uh, if we have a listen to the snare. It sort of emphasizes the low mids, but on a hi-hat, you can hear it's a sort of resonant uh, high mid peak. So each of these adjusters, uh, it'll depend upon the type of sound to what it's going to do. So it's definitely worth experimenting with. In our next video, we'll be looking at programming patterns in Boom.